hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video in this video guys i'm going to teach you how to use image view in our java effects application so as you can see here we have the login form that we have created from our previous video so login.fxml and as you can see we do have like several elements uh several elements from here the label the text field and of course the button so i'm gonna show you how to add image into this so for example the button and of course we're going to um, talk about how to add image view in our JavaFX application so as i've said from the previous video uh, after logging in or after log in um, the user should should see the dashboard um, page and basically we can add different elements here so for example as i've said the image view so let's try that add image view by searching it here from the libra uh, library and then drag it into our anchor pane layout and there you go we can resize and actually we can set the image by using this particular option right here the image and then we can browse um, into our project and select the image that you want or that we want okay but we're not gonna do that here instead we're gonna do it in our netbeans ide so let's go ahead and go to our netbeans ide so basically we do have like four files here the dashboard login and login controller and the main that java file so basically we can open up our dashboard right click edit so for now we can add the dashboard or we can add image view to our dashboard right there and then we need to save this in order for this uh the changes to reflect in our code in netbeans ide so as you can see we do have like the image view here and the fit height and the, the fit width which is 300 okay and what we can do here is we can um, instead of using this particular um, element type so we can um, close it by using image view like this right there and inside here we can add the image element so for example we can have it like um, image Okay, and then inside this particular node, we can add the image keyword with a bigger I. Okay, and then we can specify the URL of the image that we want or the preferred image that we want to display in this particular image view. Okay, so in order for us to do that, we need to specify the URL. So URL and then um, equals and then double quote double code so basically we want to add an image into our project so we can do that or in order for us to do that let's go open up um, this application although you can always use an image or the preferred image that you want but i'm using this particular application which is pitchan or the icons 88 i think and you can download this on the internet and this is free so, so for example we want to use this particular image the literature okay and then we can just we can just drag it to our where is it drag it to our application maybe later where is it we cannot use that so let's select other image hmm. let's change first the size into something smaller so for example 120 and then we can select element so something like this i can just drag and drop the image here so I, now i have the icons 8 increase 120 px um, that png and then i can use that in our uh, fxml file so all i have all i have to do is specify the url and add the symbol add and then icons and then eight or the name of our image which is in my case i do have um, icons eight 
and then underscore increase and then 120px.png and now all I have to do is save this okay and then maybe we need to reopen this file not save first so open up our dashboard I think it's that dashboard right so dashboard and then it should reflect the change which is right here there you go so we do have like the image now working in our image view so we have we have successfully added the image view into our or the image into our image view so um actually the the easiest way for adding an image is by using the scene builder application so so for example i'm just gonna show you another example on how to image or how to add image to our image view so so for example this one and then let's use another email or i mean image so, so for example this one or the website okay drag and drop and then go back to our scene builder application select or click on the image view and then under properties here you can specify the image so click on this three dots button and then we can select the image right there and then click on open so as you can see the image is set into our image view so if we try to view that in our NetBeans IDE code which is the dashboard that fxml the same process or the same what uh, the same code that has been added okay image view and then image and then the image keyword and then specifying the url of the preferred image that we set okay and of course guys you can also add image to our button so for example we want to add a icon to this um, login button so what we can do is so for example uh, search for lock icon or something lock and then go back to our NetBeans and we just have to drag so for example this one drag it to our project and then we can we'll go back to our scene builder login.php uh, I mean login.fxml and then what we can do is add image view here so image view and then drag it on our button okay so make sure to add the image view into our button so what we can do is drag from the hierarchy window or option so we can drag it to our button like this okay and then of course it's gonna resize our button into the actual image view size so what we can do is just resize this right there and then of course from here we can change the image source from the properties right and then select the lock icon okay and then we can just drag it like this and there uh, there you go we do have now the button with the lock icon set okay so all you have to do is save that and you can run our project once again we can try to preview our application and as you can see here we know uh, we now have the icon for our button so so for example log in admin 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 and you can see the image view for our java effects application so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and i hope you learned something so if you are new here please uh, please consider subscribing and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have uploads regarding programming and in this particular series about JavaFX. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.